Now, most likely when you were following along, you got lost, you typed something wrong, and something bad happened. So I didn't show you any of those bad things that could happen, and now I'm going to show you what happens when you mess up. So if we look at this NS log, if you forgot the open parenthesis here, we would all of a sudden see a red dot in the middle of the screen. So we're working on line 31. And if you don't have line numbers, which you won't unless you turn them on, come up to Xcode, go to Preferences, then go to Text Editing, and turn on line numbers. And you can see if I move this over, line numbers will show and hide from this sidebar. We call that the gutter. So line numbers are helpful because it makes it easy to see where you are in code. So line 31 is where we have an issue. If I click on this little circle, it tells me it's expecting a semicolon after expression. So if I do the fix it and insert, all of a sudden we still have an issue and it's telling me I have to remove a extraneous parentheses. Obviously this is not right. Um, for you, it's probably not obvious, but now this isn't what I originally typed. And so things are sort of getting mangled and this is not how it's supposed to look. So the, the code correction here is actually inaccurate. You want that open parentheses and then the issue will go away. If you forget the at symbol in front, you will see that it highlights this line. You see a couple of different issues here. It says incompatible pointer types passing a care 18 to a parameter of type ID. So this is a totally weird error if you've never programmed before and you're like, I don't know what this means. But thankfully, this error you can recover from by using the, the fix it. So if I double click on this, it inserts that for me. Now, if I forget the double quotation mark, we'll get a different error. And it says missing terminating quotation mark character. So we can fix this by putting that in. And if we forget a semicolon when we're typing, it'll tell us to put the semicolon. Usually this one's the, the, the one that's always right. So if you forget a semicolon, this will tell you put it in. And semicolons are basically like periods for sentences, except they're periods for our code. Uh, and each line should have a semicolon. So if you don't have a semicolon, you will have issues. If I take away multiple semicolons, we get issues on different lines. So we can go ahead and fix it ourselves, or we can let Xcode fix it. So that are those are some of the, the issues that you encounter when you're working with some methods. If you accidentally remove a, squ a squiggly brace or a curly brace, you'll get different issues. And so when we go ahead and we build, if you go to uh, the top and click on product and run, or you do build right here, there's a hotkey, it's command B. I use the hotkeys a lot you'll get a build failed and things won't be working. Or if you hit the run button, you'll get a build failed. And this is when you know something's wrong. So usually when you see a parent, always when you see a parentheses, you need to have an end for it. Whenever you have a curly brace, you always need to have an end for it. And this one was written for us, so we didn't really have to worry about it. Um, but if we take it away, we'll have an issue. If we take away the end, will have an issue. So there's there's lots of issues that you can run into if you accidentally delete something. And worst case scenario, just undo whatever you did. So you can use the control Z key, or you can just start all over from scratch. Now, the other issue that you can run into is when you're connecting the user interface. Uh, this is an issue that's actually kind of a deal breaker when you're trying to get started because it can get in the way of doing things. Um, so I'm going to switch, I'm going to hide this little bar because this gets in the way when you have limited screen space. So you can see the interface. I'm going to bring up the code with the assistant editor. So we have the interface and the assistant editor up. And now if I accidentally maybe rename the water text field to maybe H2O or something like that, if I rename it, we're no longer going to see that the dot is filled in here. And if we're in our interface file, it's going to think that everything's sort of connected. And we go ahead and we try and run stuff and we'll get errors or things won't work. Um, so that's a potential issue. 
if I go ahead and I rename, let's see if this works. Refactor, rename, we'll do this the proper way, H2O. Okay, it looks like this will fix that. So if you want to rename, you have to do refactor. Um, if I accidentally remove the whole thing. So if we remove that line, we'll get an error saying that the water text field is not found. But if you hadn't really connected all this stuff, let's say we haven't written this code yet. And we go back. What I did here is I selected everything and I commented it out. Uh, you can get to this from here. There's a comment key sequence that you can do. It is the command slash. So we can uncomment everything and we can comment everything. When you see a comment, that means that line of code will not get executed. All right, so if we run this, we'll see that, oh no, I don't know what happened. What is all this stuff over here? What does this mean? A thread one signal, sig abort, like this is not good. We come down to our console window where we were printing stuff and we say, we see this message, terminating due to uncaught exception, NS unknown key exception, reason, blah, 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 blah. Key is undefined. This value has no key voting, key value com coding compliant for the key water text field. So this means that something got deleted or something was removed and it's related to our water text field. So this is, this is something that's a little bit challenging to deal with when you're working with an interface and our issue is that our interface thinks that there's a variable uh, called water text field, but it no longer exists. And so what we do is we have to reconnect it or we have to delete the original value. And you can delete it by hitting the X right here. And you can reconnect it by doing the drag that we did before. So now it works, but it's not connected. So the, the calculations won't work. So if I am in our .h file, we're going to want to reconnect and you want to put it in as an insert and then just water text field. All right. So that is that we run it again. It should work. So those are some issues that you can run into when you're trying to follow along. Let me know if you have any other issues. Um, just post a comment on this video.